Hello everyone, welcome to this session. We are discussing about the ICT hazards. Uh, so far in our previous video, we discussed the, uh, about this, the effect of disposing the electronic equipment to the environment. Uh, so we're trying to discuss the effect of uh, for, of disposing the e, yeah, this e-waste uh, to the environment. So far we've discussed the, the effect uh, in air, in soil, and today let's move on to water. So how does the U.S. contaminate the water? Water can be contaminated by U.S. this electronic waste in two major ways. The first one is via the land fuse that are not properly is designed to contain the U.S. So those land fuse are just the dumping size for these U.S. that are not properly designed to contain the U.S. can be uh, highly contagious to the water sources and the other way that water can be contaminated by the US is via the improper recycling and subsequently dispose of the US. So these two major ways are the ways that uh, water can be contaminated by the US. Now the electronic components often contain the precious, uh, I mean, uh, these precious metals uh, uh, and other uh, desirable materials uh, that make the USC lucrative for many to recycle and to use these materials, particularly certain impoverished communities in developing countries. In these developing countries, now extracting the materials from uh, highly integrated systems as many electronics are uh, in modern design is complicated and it can require shredding, burning, leaching, and other processes that produces various uh, toxic byproducts these byproducts in air, water, and soil. Now, surface water, in particular, is affected by the chemical processes used to extract the, the various precious metals like gold from the electronic devices. Now, these processes are typically uh, reach all strip precious metals away from the less variable materials like plastic using acids and other toxic chemicals that when improperly treated or regulated are released into the local water sources such as streams, ponds, and, and these livers. So that's how the water is contaminated and that water if used can be very uh, dangerous for the health of the living things, particularly maybe animals and plants. Uh, same goes to us humans. Now through these various pathways, uh, we're talking about the pathways pathways of the sources of the um, this US acidification and uh, uh, toxification of the water can extend to the various communities uh, miles away from the recycling site, impacting the public and the ecosystem health in many, many ways. The groundwater can also be impacted by improper disposing or dumping of the waste as heavy metals like lead, arsenic, and the cadmium and the other persistent chemicals reached from the landfills and the illegal dumping sites into groundwater tables, affecting people and their animal life for many miles around. So that's how this US can be very uh, impactful to the uh, community. Now, let's see how does the ecosystems are uh, impacted through the water that is affected by the US. One of the biggest impacts of the the ecosystem through water sources contaminated by the U.S. through the acidification of the surface waterways. Acids used to extract and reach precious metals from the U.S. Uh, during recycling and the use will enter into the local waste. I mean these local waters when improperly handled. Now heavy metals, they can also enter the surface waters through improper recycling and handling of the U.S. Like an example, in fish, in digestion of the mercury literally leads to the neurological damage, permanent disabilities and damage to the immune system. Heavy metals, they can also lead to the tissue and the gear damages, as well as erratic movements among many species of fish. So that's how this, uh, the U.S. Uh, contaminate, contaminates the water and how the contaminated water can affect the ecosystem. Now, these heavy metals impacts the extend well beyond fish above and beneath these fish on the food chain, ultimately extending to the human beings in public health. So that's all of it about the ecosystem affected by the uh, this uh, US uh, disposed in water. Now let's see how are humans impacted through the US in the water. 
Now, when the surface waters are contaminated by the products of the US, those drinking uh, uh, from these kinds of waters, bathing and re recreating in these waters are impacted. Many toxic chemicals, they can impact surface waters, but heavy metals, they can impact both surface and the ground waters. So that's all I have for this session. I'll discuss the, uh, the effect of disposing the US in our environment, specifically how the US, this US electronic waste can, uh, can impact the water and how that uh, contaminated water can affect the ecosystem uh, and humans. I hope that's all clear and thank you.